Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to review what kind of statistic is available for you when you complete a trade or close a trade. So in order to do that, we're going to click on a trade that is close already. For example, this one on Facebook, and then we're going to review here what's on the top. Okay, so size, if you're an interior trader, you should know what size is. We can detect whether this was a long or a short. You don't have to input this into a system. The system will detect this for you. Okay, we uh, will detect also the size depending on how many buys you had in the, in your executions we can detect the size we can detect the cost which is your investment on this trade in this case uh, it's outrageous but it says that i invested a uh, over two hundred thousand dollars for this trade my average buy so my average buy is gonna um add all the executions that had the action buy it's going to add the size and then it's going to average them, okay? It's going to do the same thing for average sell, okay? And then return share, this is going to tell me how much did I make per share or per contract, depending on what you're trading. If you're trading option, it's going to be per contract. If you're trading stocks, it's going to be per share, okay? So this is how much I made per share, $3 per share on this trade, okay? Return dollar, so this is going to tell me how much did I make before a uh, commissions on this trade in total okay return percentage is how much did i make on this trade percentage wise based on my initial investment okay now net return is gonna be similar to a return dollar but it's gonna add the commissions so for example in this case are the same because i don't i do not have any commissions added but if i were to add commissions for example when i here ten dollars so this should be updated. It should be, uh, there is 2,990. Okay. So if I were to add here, it should be 2,980. Okay. There it is. So that's how you will interpret this. And result, of course, if, if you won, lost, or if this is a trade, it's an open trade, or if this is break even. These are the possible results that you can uh, get from this system. Okay. So here, this number is going to be equal to a return dollar. Again, how much did I make on this trade before commissions? Okay. This is going to be the ticker, and this is going to be the name of the company if we can detect the name of the company. Okay. History is going to contain all the executions that took place on this trade. In this example, there were two executions for this trade an opening execution and a closing execution. Okay. So this is going to contain all the information. A, about those executions. For example, action either, can be either buy or a sell. Spread, uh, depending on what you trade. Uh, if I trade stocks, it's going to be always single. If you trade options, there are multiple spreads for options. It could be, for example, Iron Condor, Butterfly, and many others. Okay, so you don't have to worry about this if you're trading um, stocks um, or crypto. The type. So this is going to be share if you trade stocks, it's going to be put or call. If you trade f uh, options, it's going to be futures. If you trade futures, crypto, if you trade crypto, and so on. Okay. Uh, the date, the date that the execution took place, the time, the time that the execution took place, the size of the execution, the price of the execution, the value, which is a uh, how much did it cost you this trade? So you will multiply the size times the price that gives you the value and then the commission, okay? And then the fees. So that is the trade history here.